stories. Oh, they got a top 10? 2022 has been an amazing year at Truly. We have shown you some of the most fascinating people from... Whoa, what the hell? I see it. We have shown you some of the most fascinating... Oh my goodness. Fascinating people from all across the world. As the year draws to an end, we look back at some of the most popular episodes we released this year. This is our top 10 films of 2022. I want to see this. Starting in 10th place with 1.3 million views is Taylor, the girl who can't smile. Wait, I was born with a really one? rare neurological disorder called Nodia syndrome. So it's basically like facial paralysis. Um, and because of this syndrome, I was also born with an outer extremity deformity and mine was bilateral telepathy or clubbed feet. And around the age of, I wanna say 11 or 12, I had a really invasive operation that was supposed to be able to make me smile, but it was unsuccessful. Taylor lost all of her confidence as a child and dealt with bullying throughout her childhood. I think my See, bro, I tell you to be serious. <sighs> I just don't want to say, but oh God, I got a headache. Confidence got knocked out of me as I got older. I didn't want to go anywhere because I was insecure about myself. But when it comes to physical bullying, it's like, um, it's tough. So, you know, like I was pushed down hills. I had my bag ripped off my back, had books ripped out of my back. Have you, wait, wait, what? Have bags ripped off? What you say? You know, like I was pushed down hills. I had my bag ripped off my back, had books ripped Huh? Wait, what's she say? No, I'm actually... Wait, she had what? Um, it's tough, so, you know, like, I was pushed down hills, I had my bag ripped off my back, had... She had her... Oh, wait, wait, what? I was supposed to say her bag ripped off her back? Why well, sound like, like she said dick? Um, it's tough, so, you know, like, I was pushed down hills, I had my bag ripped off my back, had books ripped out of my bag, um, I would get like I'd be walking upstairs and people would kick my knees in from behind you know it was tough I first started the self-help journey around the age of 20 that doesn't mean I fully accepted myself then but it's been four years of me really working hard in all aspects of well, my life right to now. make sure I can live the best life I possibly can on her self-help journey Taylor turned to sport and is now a professional shot put player being an athlete has so if she laughed like do that hurt like i'm not trying to be funny or not like like if she found some funny and she laughed like would that hurt or something given me so much discipline and strength and confidence and it's really set me up um and i think it really helped in terms of my recovery journey and now taylor is living her best life oh everything's changed since accepting myself my confidence the way i interact with people the way i interact with people online being 100 percent authentic to me like i'm probably one of the most sarcastic people you'll ever meet gosh i know it is so hard being ridiculously offensively attractive like i get it i'm so sorry